Well, good day, viewers, and welcome back to Colour in Your Life. We're actually up in Brisbane today at Wynnum, just on the coast. It's just beautiful outside today. And we're with a very, very talented lady. We're going to spend the day with her, Dee Gillette. That well, would be me. Welcome to the show. Thank you Hello, so much. Graham. Now, Dee's a teacher, fabulous teacher. I mean, she's a number of students, does life drawing. Uh, we're actually in the studio and the workshop area at the moment. But Dee's also, I really could say that you're an academic as far as art's concerned, but in saying that, I mean, you've got a degree in fine arts from the uh, Queensland College of Arts. I do indeed. Which I think is fabulous. Well, um, you know, I got to 52 and yeah. thought, I've wanted this since I was 16, so hurry up. <laughs> really? Yes, graduated last but, December. But I think it's so important that, that, that Dee, I mean, 52 years of age and you sort of say, I'm going to go and do a fine arts degree. Yeah. That's fabulous. I think that's just wonderful. <laughs> uh, but, but I think also in looking at uh, Dee's CV and speaking to her, is that you also, just regardless of the academic side of things, there is a real purist essence about who you are as an artist and as a teacher. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? I mean, you sort of go into, particularly when it comes to the Cubists and Picasso, there's a certain psychology that you still look towards when you do what you do. Absolutely. What, what really interests me is joy and abundance and using art to bring more of that into the world. Now, when I was at uni, they tried to explain to me that my ideas were the only important thing and that how well I painted or drew was completely immaterial, but that's what I have to bring in the world. If I don't pin my guts to the wall and be the person who is joyous and, and full of life and abundance, then that art isn't going to exist and I want it to exist because it makes the world a better place. I'm on a mission. Absolutely you are. When you see Dee's art you'll understand because it is so electric, it's so tactile as well. I mean she really paints in layers and layers of impasto and colour and it's just one of those uh, forms of art that when you look at, and I was doing it before when I walked into the studio, I'm going, I can't keep my hands off this stuff. I nearly had to slap it, honestly. <laughs> but it is going to be a great day. I mean apart from the litany of awards that you've had, uh, you've got this huge uh, track record. I mean, when I was actually downloading Dee's information when we first spoke to her, the pages just kept printing out and I said, oh, this is nuts. But I read through it and I thought, well, we can't get through it all. I mean, obviously, when you go and have a look at Dee's uh, website yourself, you'll be able to see the, the amazing CV that she's got. It's just extraordinary. But today, we're going to be doing a picture of one of your loves. And obviously, there's a lot of nature in your work as well. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing a painting of uh, rainbow lorikeets. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. I'm, I'm really interested in the notion, of the cubist notion of simultaneity, so where things are, where they were, where they will be. And birds in flight just give me all of that, all of that abundance and joy and movement. And um, they're just, they're pretty too. So, you know, Excellent. that's a good thing. All right, well, I'm going to take my normal seat just on the side here, and I'm going to let you do what you do. Okay, okay thanks, stuff. Graham. Okay, Dee, well, I can see that you've mixed up a whole bunch of um, Atelier Interactives there. And you've, what, did you put some uh, impasto or some moulding gel in that? What was it? No, this was just gesso. The, I like the chroma Oh, so you've just put the gesso, gesso in there, have you? Yeah, because it's important at this stage that the, the colours are mid-toned. I want them light to mid-toned because it's really easy to get too dark. Yes. I'm trying to develop interest and excitement in uh -huh. this early layer of the painting. And you're using a fan brush there? Yes, my favourite gnarly, horrible, rotten fan brushes. You're a big fan of fan brushes. Huge fan of fan brushes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I see what you did there. I'm a huge fan of fan brushes because when I started as an artist, I was poverty struck and I could get fan brushes really, really cheap. And I hate to tell you that that was my big, big motivation. But, uh, but in saying that, you still use really high quality paint as well. Absolutely, yeah. because if you're going to sell paintings to the public, mm. Um, they have to last. If, if it's all going to fall off your canvas yeah. in six months, I don't think so. That's not a noticed, nice thing. I even notice with your canvases you're on linen as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah love uh, a linen I canvas. Mean, yeah, I mean it's uh, genuosity towards the painting as well to do that. How did you develop this, this style that you're doing now? I mean your, your work is so uh, different to anything else I've seen once again. Yeah, basically I wasn't taught to paint. I was a drawer, uh -huh. um, so I worked in pastels a lot. I was really terrified of paint. I'm, I'm sure lots of you can relate to that. Yeah. I got hold of a lot of secondhand art equipment and included a whole lot of paints. 
and a very dear friend of mine who's an art teacher spent six weeks with me in my studio. We played with paint for six weeks. Part of it was some clear gel medium that I use a lot in my work. But you can always read people's personality into their work as well. You're, you've got a very exuberant personality. You're a well-known uh, teacher as well. I think that's really part of being a great teacher also, is to have somebody that's really exuberant about their work and about their life, and that's exactly who you are. Well, if I'm not excited about it, how can I expect everyone else to get excited about yes, it? And true. it is exciting. Make it.